So this is Savannah James, LeBron James' wife, uh, at a USC game. And some people say the guy who hugged her is maybe Caleb Williams, the USC football player. Some people saying that it's maybe a family member because it kind of started off to look like a family member hug. But then it's weird how he kept holding on to her stomach. And some people was kind of going at Savannah James like, why, why you letting a dude hold you like that? But she seemed very uncomfortable to me like she was leaning gave him the tap and touched his arm like one time like you know like signal like move your arm you know what i'm saying and he kept holding and then after he kept holding you could tell it was just weird man he, she, you tell her inner her body language was like let me go you know what i'm saying but he's still talking and holding on to her and then she finally like tapped him again like come on dog what, what you doing but she was still trying to be nice. Like, this is one of the moments where it's like, okay, you got some dudes trying to blame Savannah or whatever. Like, why you let a dude hug you like that? But some people, like I say, said it might have been a family member because he then went around and, and hugged um, who some people say is her mother as well or, or another family member. I don't know. It just was weird to me, though, man. I, 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 can't, I can't put that one on her. This, this one just looked awkward. And fellas... Stop doing this, man. Stop doing this. Especially this being another man's wife. Like, skip over the fact that it's LeBron's wife. But that all the that all the definitely <laughs> add to the like don't do this factor, but any man's wife. Come on, man. It's supposed to be a quick Quick hug, boom, and you know what I'm saying, and keep it moving. And y'all remember our Amari Howery back in the day went, hug Jay-Z, boom, then went in to hug Beyonce. He kisses Beyonce on the cheek, not once, like it, but twice. Like it, the second when he went in, he almost kissed her in the mouth. My man, why is you kissing my wife on the cheek at all? I understand it's a little friendly, but no, nah, you you making us want to just be like, man, don't even hug my wife. You're doing too much out here, man. Give me some space, man. Disrespect. But if, if you do hug a man's wife or a man's girl or whatever, come on with all that. Man, you going to hold on to my wife, dog? You going to clutch my wife around her stomach and hold on to her as y'all talking? And you a make a dude be like, hey, my man. You know what I'm saying? And then you have these these women. Uh, why you being insecure? Why you? Nah, dog. Nah. Cut it all the way out. That ain't how you do that. It ain't about no insecurity. It ain't nobody. It's about respect. And I don't think Savannah was uh, disrespecting LeBron. I think she was trying to. get out of the situation without being um, confrontational. You dig what I'm saying? I think she was trying to be nice. And this is the weird place that a lot of women get put in where it's like, I understand, ladies. Like, I know a lot of these cases that come up, this, that, and the other, women be lying. I'll be like, oh, this is why I can't believe y'all because y'all be lying. This, that, and the other happened. But trust me, I'm not against y'all it's just i have to weed out the truth from the false and a lot of these women be lying and saying stuff happened when it never happened but as you can see in real time with this clip this is the awkward harassment place that women be getting put in and then you know like because people people will do this like Bosses will do this to their employees. You have a man that's a boss and he'll hug a woman and, you know, and want to sit there and keep his hand around her waist as they sitting there talking. And she like, clearly the body language is saying like, dog, can you let me go? But she don't want to be like, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah, like, but, but listen, it's it's an art to 
to getting out of these situations. You know, uh, it, it, you, you have to find the the joke in it, the crack a joke, whatever, whatever you have to do, ladies, to kind of sep move, separate yourself uh, from the situation. La laugh and joke like your husband about to come in or something. <laughs> oh, they got my husband. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> If you'd have caught us, though, he'd have been on you. You better watch it now. Go on about your business, folks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just ways to get out of it without causing no ruckus, this, that, and other. But, fellas, it shouldn't need to be that. It shouldn't be need to be no weird way that this woman should have to try to get out of a situation. We saw uh, Dwayne Wade with this and Jeannie Buss, right? Dwayne Wade married to Gary L. Union. He's sitting in front of Jeannie Buss, which is the uh, Lakers owner. Jeannie Buzz look good, too. She, you know, blonde, blonde, middle-aged, little milf, you know what I'm saying, white woman. She reached up and started rubbing Dwayne Wayne's shoulders, giving him a massage, you know what I'm saying? And he played it off by like, oh, get this side, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't think Gabrielle Union and Dwayne had a conversation about that when he got home? Of course he did. White woman look good like that with all that money, too, on the Lakers? And he a former player? Come on, man. And then... Had he rejected her back rub, that would have made more news than her even rubbing his back. You dig what I'm saying? So you can see the awkwardness in how men and women may or may not want to respond when they put in these situations. But it's still like, my, the first thought I had was, had, what, what if this was a man doing this to a woman? Everybody would have lost their minds. You dig what I'm saying? Because there was no backlash at all. When it was just Jeannie Buzz doing it to D-Wade, right? And ladies, y'all have to acknowledge this as well because I'm, I'm I'm telling you, I'm, I'm speaking to the fellas and saying that it shouldn't be no weirdness that a lady got to finagle up out of. Stop walking up on women, massaging them all from the back, nuts all on the booty, all close, and you know what I'm saying? No, she got a man or a husband or whatever. Stop doing that work wife, all of that work husband type stuff y'all be doing, like... I'm telling you, man, it don't, sometimes it's, it's welcome because women be flirting and this, that, and the other, but a lot of times it's not, and they be looking very awkward while it's going on, and that, that's, that, I, I don't, I don't like that, man, they don't like that neither, you know what I'm saying, you can tell by the awkwardness and the ways that they be trying to swivel and get away from folk, but ladies, just saying on the flip side, when I talk about the, um, Dwayne Wade's situation with uh, Jeannie Buss, it's not always welcome with, with the fellas neither, ladies. Like, it'd be some ladies. Y'all have a thing. Some of y'all, like, y'all be wanting to slap dudes' butts and all type of stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is... I mean, lady, like, listen. When ladies are flirtatious, y'all be aggressive. Because a lot of them ain't, ain't used to men rejection. So... They just assume that you want this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't, I mean, I didn't have women just walk up and grab my nuts. Just grab them. Well, let me see. What? <laughs> what? What, is your, what is wrong with you? Like, why would you? Because it's like on the flip side, if I did that to you. And I get it. We laugh and we joke and all of this. But if I did that to you, this would be a very dis different situation. Depending on what type of mood you in, you know what I'm saying? Because one minute about woman be geek, you know what I'm saying? Let her what she have a shot or two in it. She be yeah, <clears throat> you know, you know, she be geek flirting with you all that. Let her be in a different mood. Let somebody be and got on her nerves that day. You gonna be going to jail, you know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody want to hear all that. She grabbed my nuts the other day. She did. She grabbed my nuts. That was different. You going to jail. <laughs> she grabbed my nuts, man. Come on, man. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this, now. <laughs> but I'm just saying, man, this, this uh, fellas, ladies as well, keep, man, keep, keep your hands to yourself, man. Keep it respectful, man. Quick little hug, boom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> A black power fist, something, man. But uh, be respectful. To people's wives and spouses and stuff like that. You know, don't, don't go hug no man's wife like this and be clutching, holding on to her. And the same thing, two ladies on the flip side. Don't hug no, no lady's husband and be all leaning in, all, you know what I'm saying? Hugging all, coming all around the neck. Y'all like, you know, know the hugs y'all be giving where you be like, 
you trying to claim that dude, you know what I'm saying? No, that ain't like, come on now. It's like, like listen, we, we need to be respectful to each other. I get it that, you know, in this day and age, they, they going over and above with the, the harassment charges and the, you know, the, what's, all this new stuff and the Me Too and it. I get it. I get it. Because there are so many women that lie about these type of stories that is that is ridiculous. And they and they come up off of it, they make money off of it, they get those uh, careers done and they sue them and all this type. So I get it. But the ladies that are going through this type of stuff for real, those are the women we need to be seeking out and being like, hey, give them justice, you know? And it usually, the egregious stuff usually starts with small, uncomfortable stuff like this, where it's quite uncomfortable to watch just outside looking in. Like, that's that's weird. Don't nobody want to be in that situation. Don't nobody want to be hugged like that and they and they just, it's not welcome. You know what I'm saying? But you all in their space and holding on to them and massaging and all that. Like, come on, man, cut it out. You got to stop that, man. Got to stop that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it. It's your boy, P. Kemp. Uh, get at your boy.